Good afternoon, excellencies, distinguished delegates. We know that we are uh, in front of a seminal moment in history. Over the last two years, I think we all have experienced the AI on a personal level. I'm using ChatGPT today more than almost anything else. But it was kind of slow to translate into real business benefits, into real government benefits. And the main reason is we don't know actually how to deploy a software that has agency, in a way has free will, into the context of reliable business processes. So today I am here to kind of demystify a bit what the industry has been working lately into bringing the power of generative AI into a reliable fashion. So the latest trend, we all know it's about AI agents. Agentic automation is becoming really a big fashionable term. But what is basically an AI agent? Like a standard definition is that um, it is uh, a software system that is autonomous. It can perceive the environment. It can understand the context. It can read data, can uh, reason, can follow a goal, and can make actions. To me, this is a bit uh, too broad as a definition. I'm sure based on this definition, you would not know where to apply, it's dangerous or not. And I think there is a different metaphor that I want to introduce here. So we are in the land of you know, myth. And uh, to me, one of the best metaphors to describe AI agents is to do like a parallel with the Arabic concept of genes. Genes are not human in nature, so they are different, but they act like us. They can understand us. They have superpowers, they have will. If, they can de if we can deploy them for good, they can do extreme good, but if we can deploy them for bad or we cannot control them, their uh, outcome can be devastated. So I think this is going to be very similar with the appearance of AI agents. We, are, we, are, we all have to admit, we are kind of afraid of what's going to happen. So we need a good framework on how to unleash these agents and uh, put them to work for us. We all know that with great power, you know, it comes great responsibility. And uh, look, at UiPath, we have developed for the last 20 years what we call software robots. These robots are uh, similar with AI. They are based actually on a lot of AI. So they are capable of imitating human users to do manual, repetitive work. Everything that you can do in front of a computer, as long as you can define in rules, like uh, data entry. For instance, our robots can process. We uh, invented uh, a technology called computer vision for kind of application screens back in time. And uh, over the year, one of our major focus was how can we make our robots really reliable? And we have built a lot of frameworks, governance, security into deploying robots. So we have experience into deploying this. And we want to carry this experience into building a framework to help you building reliable AI agents. And, um, in our view, the key aspect of deploying, building an AI agent, is to think 
more like through the human lenses. I don't think we would accept right now a super agent that can do an entire job of a person. Because I think it's very difficult to control it. If I give a goal to an agent, please optimize like the benefit policy. I need to understand very specifically how this is going to work. It's much easier for us to accept that an agent will perform a small task within a big process. And uh, for instance, on a benefit claim, an agent can really gather the data of the claim, understand the person, and can make a recommendation. And a human user will accept or not. And then a robot can perform the recommendation. So we believe that the key aspect of deploying AI agents would be to have uh, this triad of robots, which you can think of like uh, low-skilled employees, but they are very reliable, trustable, and they can do a lot of jobs like retrieving data or doing transactions. Agents would be more akin to high-skilled employees, but they have to be confined. So agents will use robots in order to retrieve data, understand the context, and they will be tasked to make decisions. Then humans will verify their decisions, and eventually the robots will carry on the decisions of humans. We believe this framework will be essential into deploying uh, agents into the future. But the benefits will be huge. We have believed that there will be a jump shift from digital governments into agentic governments. And uh, it has, I think, tremendous implications. Because the, the jobs will be transformed very much into basically supervising agents, into learning how to talk to the agents, into building agents. Imagine a world where you have infinite access to, to public workers that can work 24-7, can uh, really respond and understand your constituents. I think we will see a tremendous shift in uh, how governance can operate. And we, at UiPath, we have worked in the past with a lot of governments. So we have a big federal business in the US. I'm very proud that in Middle East, we have one of the fastest growing business here. We are working a lot with the with the UAE government, in Dubai, in Saudi. We are working with Singapore government a lot. So I think the most progressive governments in the world are getting it. And we have to be prepared for this new world. What do we do about education? First of all, think about who is going to create these agents. We discovered, so I'm a software engineer by trade. I used to work for Microsoft, writing really enterprise software. Software, in a way, it's easy to build than creating a story in natural language, creating a prompt that an agent can use. This is actually difficult. It requ it's requires an intersection between really understanding the business, the processes, the context, the the human context within which we operate, and how AI operates. We discovered delivering agents. This is going to be the most challenging aspect into building this army of agents. So we need to build an education system where people can understand AI. 
If AI is going to be as transformative as the industrial revolution, we have to change our approach to education. Our current education system was built in the 17th and 18th century, and it was specifically designed to create people working in factories. People may be confining their will and agency and, in a way, robotizing people. We don't need this type of uh, skills anymore. To me, one of the essence of humanity is embodied by Sheikh Razad. She she's a genius that used storytelling in order to create empathy, to change perceptions of people, to actually bring wisdom, to help people find truth, to distinguish between what's false and what's true. And in a way, I believe this is what truly distinguishes us. If I truly look at what is the true essence of human nature, I think it's really our ability to understand what's truth and what's untruth. And we will have to really tune our education system to help our kids to become like Shakespeare and understand how to tell stories, understand how to relate to people, how to change their perceptions. We have a lot of work to do, I think, and it's a, it's a big challenge for all of us, and uh, it's, it's scary, it's exciting, but this is, I think, all about humanity. So, thank you.